My friends, Martin Luther King said, power without love is reckless and abusive, but love without power is sentimental and anemic. We need both love and power. Steve Pavlina puts a third part into this trifecta, truth, and suggests that love, truth, and power are the core principles to uh, fulfilling life. Um, I tend to think that love and power are two sides of the same coin. To be truly powerful, we have to have infinite love in our hearts. And um, that sounds completely cheesy to saying that out loud, but uh, the truth is that um, as, as Simon Sinek says, the people who command absolute um, respect and authority are the people who are loved by their followers. And so love brings power. And on the other hand, um, what is love without power? If you, if you love someone but you don't have any power to turn that love into reality, then um, there's no, it has no, it, it's lacking its essence. And um, so I think those are really two, two sides of the same coin. To love, we have to be powerful, and to be powerful, we have to love. And um, that's just a thought for the, for the day. I'm curious to hear thoughts. Um, how do you practice becoming more powerful? more loving. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you tomorrow.